guys. Thanks so much for joining me. So as you can see from that last video, I went nail shopping. So here are the nails that I selected. So I went to Walmart and Target to pick up some nails. And these are the ones that I came up with. And they are so pretty. I love the colors. I decided to go with, can you guess, can you guess, can you guess which one? Ta-da! I decided to go with this color. I really liked them. They were really cute. And I said, let me go ahead and give it a try. So the first thing I did was I went ahead and prepped my nails. I had already previously washed my hands, cleaned them, and cut my nails. So now I'm just filing them, buffing them, getting them ready. And I took a little alcohol to get all the extra oil and everything off so that they can be ready to receive the nails. So now I'm going to empty the contents of the nail pack out and I'm not going to use the glue that comes with it. The glue is not really good to me. I'm going to use this maximum speed nail glue from Kiss. It works really, really well and it makes the nails last long. So all the prep that I did for my nails was also a way to make my, la my nails last at least two weeks. So now I'm just pouring out the nails and I'm separating them so that I can fit them. My nails are really, really small, so I had to pick the small numbers in order to get them to fit on my nail bed. So now I'm just going to apply the nail glue one drop to my nail and one drop to the false nail and then apply it. Now that I've got all my nails applied, there was a little spillage of extra glue that kind of seeped onto my skin and my nail beds. So I'm just going to take a Q-tip and a little bit of acetone and I'm just going to wipe around my nails and on my skin to get that excess glue off. Now I'm going to go ahead and just file the extra excess of the overhang of the nail because you can still see a little bit of my nail on the side. So wherever you can see my nail, I'm just going to go ahead and file it down. Now I'm going to go ahead and take some argan oil because I don't have any cuticle oil. This will work just fine. So I'm going to take some argan oil. I'm going to put it on a Q-tip and then I'm just going to take that and go around my cuticles so that I can give them some oil and moisturize them.
just going to massage the oil into my cuticles so that they can get moisturized. I really do like how they turned out. They really look cute. I'm going to have to get used to them because it's going to take a little while. I'm not used to my nails being that long. But overall, I am happy with how they turned out. If you would like to learn how to put on false nails that cost five, six, seven dollars, be sure to watch this video. Be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time in the next video.